Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Given two matrices A and B in M and K, how do we decide whether or not these two matrices are similar? We'll see in this lecture how to solve this decision problem. Okay, so remember that given a matrix A, we can define um, a KT module MA. So this is a KT module, it's as a vector space, it is just KN as an additive abelian group. And uh, we have the action of a polynomial defined by PT B equals PA times B. So here we are thinking of V as a column vector, an element of KN as a column vector. And uh, then you can just evaluate the polynomial P at the matrix A. And that will evaluate to an n by n matrix A. You can just multiply that n by n matrix on the right by this column vector to get another column vector. And similarly, we have MB is KN, but now PTV. So maybe here I'll write a dot A, here I'll write a dot B. That means the module structure in MB is PBB. Okay, now suppose that F from MA to MB is a KT module isomorphism. So what that means is that F is a homomorphism from KN to KN. Uh, it's an abelian group isomorphism and it also has the property that f of p t a v is equal to p t dot b f v. Okay, now suppose that we can write f as um, you know, so f is a just a linear map from k n to k n. We should be able to write it as a matrix. So suppose we have that uh, f of v. equals xv for some matrix x and this has to be invertible because f is an isomorphism so then this equation here becomes x p a this p t a v is p a v is equal to p b x or we can rewrite this as x p a x inverse so is equal to p b as matrices because this thing up here is saying x p a is p b x as matrices so what we're saying is x p a x inverse is equal to p b as a matrix and this is true for every, so here itself we should say for all PT belonging to KT. In particular, if we take PT to be just the matrix T, then this implies that X A X inverse is equal to B which is the same as saying that x a is similar to b so what we've seen is that if m a is isomorphic to m b as a kt module then a is similar to b conversely suppose a is similar to b then 
then there exists x in gl and k such that x a x inverse is equal to b but this also means that x p a x inverse is equal to p b for every p in k t i let you think about why this is true but basically you have to expand this p a in terms of powers of a and each power will also get conjugated so the point is that x a to the n x inverse is equal to b to the n if x a x inverse is equal to b you have to use this okay so then this implies that so defining f of v to be x v gives an isomorphism a kt module isomorphism from m a to m b so the upshot of this is the following theorem that uh, if you have two matrices a b in m and k then a is similar to b if and only if the module m a is isomorphic to the module m b the k t modules m a and m b are isomorphic okay now let's see how we can turn this into a way to decide if uh, two matrices are similar or not so remember that m a this module we have seen is isomorphic to um, k t to the power n mod column space of t i minus a we saw this last week and uh, m b similarly is isomorphic to k t to the n mod column space of t i minus b and we've also seen that when matrices are expressed in this form as uh, generated by a certain um, free module module or the column space of some matrix then those modules are isomorphic if and only if the corresponding matrices are equivalent so m a is isomorphic to m b if and only if t i minus a is equivalent to t i minus b and so but then we can check if two matrices are equivalent by just computing their smith normal forms so what we get is a is similar to b so that means m a that's equivalent we've seen to m a being isomorphic to m b which is equivalent to saying that t i minus a is equivalent to t i minus b so this is if and only if the Smith form of T i minus A is equal to the Smith form of T i minus A. So given two n by n matrices, uh, we can decide if they are similar or not by computing the Smith forms of the corresponding matrices T i minus A and ti minus b so this is uh, you can think of this as an algorithm to decide whether or not two matrices are isomorphic now are similar okay let's uh, just look at this with a couple of examples so let's look at two matrices and we'll decide whether or not they're similar so I'll, I'll start with a very simple example let's take a to be the matrix 1 0 0 minus 1 and b to be the matrix 0 1 1 0 so at the outset these matrices look kind of different so maybe they are not uh, similar but let's just work it out so we have ti minus a so what is that so ti minus a is um, t minus 1 
0 0 t plus 1 and what's its smith normal form so remember to compute the smith normal form uh, so the smith normal form is something like this d1 d2 dr and then 0 0 0 and the product of the first i uh, diagonal entries is the gcd of all the i by i minors so we just need to figure out the gcd of the i by i minors of this 2 by 2 matrix so firstly what are the gcd of all the elements of this matrix well that's clearly one because we've got t minus one and t plus one and their gcd is one so the first element is one and then the gcd of the 2 by 2 minors divided by the gcd of the 1 by 1 minors will be what comes here with the 2 by 2 minor there's only one namely the determinant of the matrix and that is t squared minus so the Smith form of Ti minus A is 1, 0, 0, T squared minus 1. Let's work out the Smith form of Ti minus B. So here we have um, T minus 1, minus 1, 0. Once again, the GCD of all the entries, oops, I should write it equivalent to. So the GCD of all the entries is 1 and the determinant is I'm sorry, this is not 0, this is t, is again t squared minus 1. So indeed, uh, ti minus a is equivalent to ti minus b, hence the conclusion is that a is similar to b. Let's just look at one more example. So uh, let's look at three matrices this time, three by three matrices. So let's take A to be the matrix 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, B to be the matrix 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and C to be the matrix. Um, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So now we have Ti minus A is T minus 1, minus 1, T, 0, 0, T minus 1, 0, 0. And uh, this is uh, the case. So as uh, in all the examples we've seen so far, the GCD of the entries is just 1. And now let's look at the 2 by 2 minus. So here we've got a 2 by 2 minor t squared minus 1. Here we've got a 2 by 2 minor t into t minus 1. And uh, then here another, so there are, um, uh, uh, there are actually 9 2 by 2 minors here. And uh, many of them are 0. But if you just go through them carefully, you'll see that, so for example, if you take the second and third row and the first and third uh, first and third rows and the second and third columns and you get this minor 1 into t minus 1 so you get uh, uh, minus t minus 1 so uh, so t minus 1 turns out to be the gcd of all the 2 by 2 minors every 2 by 2 minor is divisible by t minus 1 and uh, <clears throat> to compute the third uh, uh, element on the diagonal we just have to compute the determinant of this matrix and divide by t minus so the determinant is a block diagonal matrix so the determinant is easy to compute it's t squared minus 1 into t minus 1 so dividing by t minus 1 we get t squared minus 1 and let's look at t i minus b so that's the matrix t0 minus 1, 0, t minus 1, 0, 0, 0. Mm, did I miss something? There should be a minus 1 here. And again, uh, you can think it through. You'll see that there's the same kind of behavior that you have 1, 0, 0. All the 2 by 2 minors are divisible by t minus 1. And the determinant of this matrix is also 
t squared minus t. So a is similar to b. What about c? So we'll have t, 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 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. And we have 0, minus 1. So the GCD of all two by uh, all the minors is one, of course. But even the two by two minors, I have one. So for example, this bottom left minor here is just uh, minus one. So up to a unit, it's one. So the first two factors are one, uh, the diagonal entries in the Smith form, and uh, the last entry is just going to be the determinant. So you have to work out the determinant, and uh, you can check that it is t cubed minus one. So what we see is that A is similar to B, but these are not similar to C. Okay. 